beautiful day for that, and what a nice night we have in store. Right now, we're looking at temperatures still hanging around in the mid to upper 70s. It's 77 downtown right now, and in Denora and Newcastle. Champion Johnstown, a little cooler at 71. Somerset is our cool spot this evening at 70, still 73 in Waynesburg. Washington at 76. So we had a couple of sprinkles try to move by just brushing by the southwestern corner of the state headed over into southeastern Ohio, but that's from a larger system of wet weather that's well to our south. You may have seen, you saw the video on some of our newscasts of the water rescues in portions of North Carolina. They've been plagued by this system that's just been spinning around the southeast. Three to six inches of rain expected across portions of Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas this weekend. So more flooding on the way. We're getting just the very northern edge of the cloud cover from that system as it tries to push clouds and moisture to the north. But high pressure to the north is suppressing it, pushing it south. So that's keeping the wet weather at bay. We're still, you see on the satellite radar loop here, you see the clouds just building a little bit from south to north through the day. So we'll get the clouds moving in overnight tonight. The showers will still hold off until tomorrow. And even though we get a few showers in the forecast tomorrow, it'll be few and far between. Here is midnight on Futurecast. Watch the clouds roll in. By say 9, 10 a.m., we could see a sprinkle or two, maybe a little tenth of an inch of rain along and south of I-70 or in the Laurel Highlands, but then just a very scattered shower or two. So if you're headed to the parade tomorrow from Pride Fest, we're looking at maybe just take the umbrella or the poncho with you. You might need it for a few minutes. Whatever activities you're up to tomorrow, if you're headed to the Arts Festival, bring the umbrella, but definitely still go about your plans. It'll just be a chance shower scattered in nature, and most of it will be done with the afternoon into the evening. Then Monday is a different story. That system finally wins out, moving north from the Mason-Dixon line, and we get showers for the morning rush, scattered showers Monday morning, giving way to widespread rain and a line of possible thunderstorms around dinner time as a cold front pushes through. Some areas could get up to an inch of rain on Monday, but luckily we've been dry the past few days, so the threat of flash flooding is starting to be minimized. By Tuesday, Wednesday, back to beautiful sunshine, lower to mid 70s. So mostly cloudy tonight, pleasant 63, your overnight low. Tomorrow, 77, mostly cloudy. We'll see a chance, a slight chance of a scatter in spots, but still overall a nice end to the weekend. Monday, we get showers off and on in the morning, but late afternoon, evening is when we'll have a chance for some thunderstorms and rain rolling through. With that front, we knocked back down to, we're knocked back down to the lower 70s Tuesday, Wednesday, but bright sunshine. Tuesday, Wednesday look beautiful, but refreshingly not hot. Ref really? I won't say cool, but nice. Fantastic night tonight for all of the concerts and outdoor events going on. Absolutely. Ho hope Enjoy. folks are having a great time. Yeah. Thanks, Kristen.